Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. You don't know me, but I know you, and you are the most committed fans to the greatest community I know, Rochester. PCHO, or person-centered housing options, based in Monroe County, provides outreach, housing, and care management services to the greater Rochester area. We are excited to partner with Rezo and Jeff to help spread the word about what we do, from intensive outreach to providing our homeless with access to life-changing services. We are a nonprofit organization that is committed to helping Rochester, and we are supported by small donations from people like you. So go to the Rizzo and Jeff Facebook page for a link or head over to our website at pcho.org. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show brought to you by person-centered housing options and online at pcho.org. A very special guest for Rizzo and Jeff's uh, uh, FM Unfiltered here. Well, you know, Rizzo, yes. uh, it's... You know, sometimes you try to get those guests, and I feel this time that we're going to have a really good guest. And yeah, it's going to be different. And in the middle of our conversation with Brother Weeze, yeah, uh, there was something that I showed you. Yes. And yes. Yes. it was the, the fact that the presidential dog, yeah, the Commander. Did. Yeah. Commander is his name, by the way, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Attacked okay. 11 people. Okay, so, so commanders, uh, Commander Biden's dogs attack people. Now again, we're, we, we, okay, so commanders attacking who? Secret Service, Secret the Service, family, everybody. who right. there's, a, there's just there's a lot of reports that Commander is attacking people, right? Okay. So I said to you, I said we need to have a conversation with somebody, maybe somebody that understands. Our pup how friends, our doggy about friends, how to train dogs, things of all that nature. And uh, I reached out today to a bunch of different people, and I got a response back. You got it right now. Now, this is going to be a little bit like the shows that we uh, did, uh, Radio 95.1, because what we're noticing is people are having a lot of fun and really enjoying. We're getting a ton of broadcasts. We're getting new sponsors in. And, by the way, uh, this show is sponsored by our good friends at PCHO. Uh Uh, you know, we had a great time, uh, on Tuesday talking to Brother Weeze about, uh, you know, all kinds of things. He announced his retirement. If you missed that on this show of all places, which was crazy, Jeff. Of, of, of all places that you would pick. Of all places. To announce that you have just walked away from your legendary radio career. Yeah, it was. It's our, it's our gig. Well, I, you well, know. So that was so fun. But yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're finding that people are liking this. We're getting a lot of views, a lot of downloads. And, you know, uh, Zweigel's uh, hit us up, so we're going to be doing something with them soon. So the Rizzo and Jeff show is thriving. Uh, and uh, this one brought to you again by uh, our good friends at PCHO. Now, make sure you share this because Jeff has done a lot of work. The JNN has done a lot of work. Well, let's. You know, oh, no, wait, no, 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 it's, it's, limited, it's limited work. work. It's, it's not limited, limited work. work. No, 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 don't, don't, it's limited. no, no, it's don't talk work. down. Don't talk it's down. Part-time to... work. It's part-time work. It's full-time. It's full-time it's, work. It's, it's, it's full-time work. It's unemployment work. It's full-time work. It's NYS. And you know. New York State, <laughs> less than 10 hours a week work. All right? Just got to do it. Okay, here's the thing. You did a full day today, but that's it. It's only less than 10-hour work, okay? Are you going to play the goddamn thing? I'll play the goddamn thing, but it's important. Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. You don't know me, but I know you, and you are the most committed fans to the greatest community I know, Rochester. PCHO, or person-centered housing options, based in Monroe County, provides outreach, housing, and care management services to the greater Rochester area. We are excited to partner with Rezo and Jeff to help spread the word about what we do, from intensive outreach to providing our homeless with access to life-changing services. We are a nonprofit organization that is committed to helping Rochester, and we are supported by small donations from people like you. So go to the Rizzo and Jeff Facebook page for a link or head over to our website at pcho.org. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show, brought to you by person-centered housing options and Online at PCHO.org. So PCHO.org, check them out, make a, make a small donation. Uh, we'll have a little bit of an update about Daddy Jeff. Last week, or two weeks ago, we talked to Essence. Uh, you know, we'll have an update with uh, Daddy Jeff. I know they're working with them, so we'll tell you guys about that. Yeah, you know, Daddy Jeff, uh, you know we love him. 
But he, he really he took fucking, a, he took he, he took, took a loss yeah, last week. Yeah, he did. Uh, when it came to he got pounded in the ass. Yeah, and he it just didn't work out well. It did not, you know. So he did not. He's got a big belief on Detroit tonight. Yeah, okay, so all he right. Keeps, he keeps okay. sending me. About I know, Detroit tonight. I know. And, and here's the thing: we have a guest coming up, and uh, we're talking. Listen, we don't do it often, but you're gonna hear us. Is this her? Is this her? Yeah. We have a guest talking politics, kind of. Who is this? What's up? Tuesday? All right. Hello. Hello? Hi, this is Sherry from Tales of Success. Sherry from Tales of Success. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Doing good. Sherry, I'll, I'll tell you what. Thank you so much. And me and you have gone and we have spoke throughout the day about things. And we had a conversation. And we talked about the presidential dog, uh, and uh, we know that the name's dog is Commander. But the dog has bit 11 people. Where, you know, why do you think that happened? Uh, I just want to What's, bring yeah. you right into the conversation. Yeah. Let's, get, let's hit it hard. Why do you think that happened, and, uh, you know, what, what can, you know, they do? What can Biden do? Does he got to get rid of the do? dog? What the hell's happening yeah. here, Sherry? Well, I mean, I'm surprised they would let it continue for 11 bites, um, you know, yeah. without bringing in professional help right away. Okay. Um, it certainly seems like it's not the best environment for the dog, of, you know, high stress, um, and the dog has been repeatedly put into situations where it's over threshold causing it to bite. Well, I guess, and again, for those of you just tuning in, uh, we're speaking with Sherry. Uh, Jeff found somebody because we we were we talked to Brother Weeze, uh, you know, uh, on our last show, and it was interesting because we didn't get to Commander, who is Joe Biden's dog, and we don't talk politics, you know, but I do want to talk political here. Now, Biden's dog looks to me like a German Shepherd. Now, this German Shepherd, they are known to be vicious dogs, no? I would not agree with that okay. statement. Okay. What would you What would you say about a German Shepherd? I mean, you're. I mean, again, you uh, train dogs, and 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 you know, we'll get into your business in a minute. But what would you say about a German Shepherd? I would say, by nature, they are a protective breed. They're going to be leery of strangers, and so anyone owning a German Shepherd should be aware of their um, of their tendencies and making sure to socialize and make appropriate accommodations for their dog. Why, so why do you think 11 times? And I think, yeah. you know, of course, we, we have dogs, and I spoke to you that I have a Jack Russell and all kinds of things. 11 mm-hmm. times seems to be a lot. What are you seeing to be the problem there as, uh, you know, the dog is running around the White House there? 11 times seems to be a lot. That's a lot to, of, to, yeah. To bite some folks. So what do you think the problem is happening there? So I was just doing a little Googling after I spoke to you earlier, and my understanding is they had a German Shepherd in the White House before this one. Okay. And that that dog was rehomed for biting. Oh. And then they, they obtained this puppy, another German Shepherd. And I, frankly, I was a little surprised that when they got the puppy, they didn't immediately bring in a professional trainer to make sure they didn't have a repeat of the situation they had with the previous dog. So do you find well, this to be a Joe Biden problem? Or? I'm not sure who makes the decisions the, there. The dog decisions. I think that might be a, a – well, okay, so for those of you just tuning in, we're speaking with Sherry from Tales uh, of Success, Tales, like, you know, do, T-A-I-L, Tales yeah. of Success. Uh, she's decided to come on to help us with our issue here. We thought, yeah. you know, the uh, presidential dog, one, the first one was rehomed. Then we have this one. It's 11 bites in. Now, think about this. What creates and how – what shapes a dog? What I mean is they rehomed the dog for biting. Okay, now this one's biting. Could Joe and or Jill, when they're upstairs, be biting? 
I mean, could they be bite? Like, could could it be learning it from its owner? Is there, yeah, is there something, is there some, somebody, some, something going somebody on here? Doing there if they want to make it the presidential dog, because this is an unprecedented story that we're we're talking about. So, like, what could they do to make sure that the dog stops biting, you know, with your advice? So, generally, when you have a dog that is showing any kind of aggression, you need to identify what is triggering this dog, what is causing um, it to reach its stress threshold. Dogs don't want to bite. They use it when they're in a situation where they feel like they have no other choice. So after the first bite, they really should have been looking at the circumstances that caused the dog to choose that behavior and then make sure to manage the environment so the dog couldn't be in a similar situation and to work on training and desensitizing the dog to any of the things that were triggering it. Yeah, you know, and I could, this is a funny thing, you know, that we live on the corner of uh, Clinton and Pleasant. It's a rough area of it's town. A, it's a rough area of town. We and my, know and my dog, he's a little bit older, okay? He's going on 11 years old. But they seem to do this kind of like Jesus, you know, kind of like happy thing that happens there. Yeah. Whenever he hears it, it makes him so uncomfortable. And I try to work my best to just try to calm him and do things. I mean, you know, so when it comes to like fireworks – you know, things of that nature. I mean, what is your best suggestion when it comes to that? Mm -hmm. So when you have a younger puppy, you want to expose... Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. If you ever wondered about how you can help the homeless in our community, go to pcho.org and check us out. Make a small donation online at pcho.org. PCHO, we want to be part of the change. Um, to a lot of different noises, people, situations, and things like that, and make sure it's a positive experience. When they get... um encounter something new, you want to tell them, like, hey, this is okay. This is not something to be afraid of. Um, if you have an older dog that is showing fear or stress and those kind of things, you want to try to protect them from being put in that situation. And then you also want to work on desensitizing on um, a low level. For example, if you're talking about fireworks, you can get CDs that have fireworks sounds and play them very quietly. Um, and associate it with positive things like um, getting trees or cuddles or whatever is comforting for your dogs, and so, then slowly increase it. So uh, for those of you just tuning in, and make sure you're uh, liking, sharing. Uh, we appreciate you. We're talking with Sherry from Tales of Success. Started Thank with you so much, Sherry, yeah. for coming on because I know – and Sherry, by the way, Sherry told me that she was a little uncomfortable. You're doing a great job. And, and I think, I, Sherry, I think you're hitting this one out of the park. Yeah. So we appreciate you coming on. Thank you. No yeah. Hey, no, thank you, Sherry. Uh, we appreciate your expertise. Uh, no, it really, really means a lot. Um, so th this is where I'm at. And, again, make sure you're uh, liking and, and sharing the, uh, the, the video here. Uh, I wanted to talk about White House pets because this is unprecedented. And I want to go through – starting with when they kept history of White House pets. Uh, Warren Harding's dog, Ladyboy. Uh, it was a – hold on, let me just make sure. Uh, Ladyboy was a – hang on uh, – a um, terrier, okay? The most successful White House pets. I agree. I mean, I have a Jack Russell you know, terrier. I think to be great. I mean, uh, you know, as when it comes to talking about a White – White House pet as a dog. Yes. I mean, if you know, if you were going to pick a dog, what would be your dog to be a White House dog? Uh, if it were me, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I might go uh, Herbert Hoover. Uh, I might go Belgian police dog. Uh, okay. That's just me. Uh, also, I might not even get a police. Uh, excuse me. I might not even get a dog. I'll give you an example. Teddy Roosevelt. We know. Teddy uh, Roosevelt loved animals. Let me tell you some of the animals. Teddy Two-Tone? Teddy Two-Tone. He had Father O'Grady. He had Maud the Pig. He had Josiah the Badger. Eli fucking... Yale the Blue Call. He had a fucking pig. He had a fucking pig and a badger. He had Speckle the Hen 
a one-legged rooster, a hyena, a barn owl, Peter Rabbit, an Algonquin the Pony. I got to tell you. If, if okay, if this is some serious if, shit. If there's one pet that I wanted in my life, yes, it's a miniature pig. Okay, and you know that. And, and, and listen, and listen, and there's going to be a situation that happens between you and baby ants where you're going to pet it. You're pet just, it. It just, it just becomes pet what? It's a part of the relationship. It happens. No, she's already so trying. To she's trying to plant, plant the seed. It ain't, plant happen, the it ain't happening. Was she trying to put the the cat seed? Not you well. Know what the cat? She you know the cat. she didn't plant the cat seed, but she has been suggesting that uh, you that know, when the, the dog when the dog happen, is a comfort, which is fine. It's great. You know, and you I, and you are one of the best pet parents. On the face of the planet. Well, I, here's the thing. You you're know a why. lover. You're a lover, I, I, and I, I'll tell you what. There, there's pictures of you and Teddy and Jersey, my old dog, your old dog, and you guys just loving each other, like in the bed together, right? Well, here's the thing. I I, I look at this. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're talking about. Uh, we're starting the show. We had uh, a uh, a guest on uh, Sherry right. um, from uh, Tales of Success. Uh, and uh, I, 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 there was a little bit of a disconnection. I mean, but I think we got what we, we needed we got, from okay. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I think I, we got I what we like, needed I feel from her. Case as well. uh, but we're talking about uh, you know White House pets because Biden's dog's being a real dick, and uh, you know well, Biden's dog moves better than him. Uh, oh, it's in it's it's much younger. They've already had to rehome the dog. Well, they should okay. rehome him, but, you know, things happen. It might happen. Uh, by the way, for those of you just tuning in, I know it takes a while to push this out. Uh, uh, this show uh, brought to you by our friends at PCHO. Uh, there's a link that comes up as you're watching or rewatching, or, you know, just swipe up on the video. You can donate to them. Uh, but they've uh, they've partnered with us now for uh, this is the second month, and uh, we appreciate those uh, who have given. Uh, but there is something that I do want to talk about. Hey Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. Do you want to give back? Do you want to change people's lives? Do you want to make it possible for a homeless person in your community to have housing? Go to PCHO.org, check us out, join our cause, donate, and help out the homeless in your community. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show brought to you by PCHO, online at PCHO.org. We're talking presidential pets, and I have to tell you, you know, I... Dog for me. If I'm gonna get a, if I'm gonna get a pet, I need to invest in the kind of pet that Daddy. Thank you, Kim. Here's thank the, you, uh, Mike. That here's, here's what I believe. I tell me what you believe. I think you know. Tell me. So for me, yeah, I need a lassie, right? So oh, I, too much. I need I need a big. Boy. So you need like a, a Teddy Roosevelt, a Father lassie, O'Grady. Right? Teddy, Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, Father O'Grady. You know Teddy, and I just told you that yeah. he had diarrhea. We had to take him out in the hallway. Yeah. He was just, yeah. you know, he's going through an old man thing. Uh, but I love a big lassie. Uh, you, nah, you, you, I nah. think, you, I think, you need like a dog in a purse. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind like a little taco, but if I had to have a dog, I wouldn't mind that. But again, I, I was actually in the presence of Sox, uh, one of the Clinton cats. Uh, but no, I, I got to be um, honest with you. Uh, you know, one of our most, uh, you know, uh, by the by the way, prolific presidential pet owners was Teddy Roosevelt himself. Well, Pre- Teddy Roosevelt had Maud the pig, uh, Josiah you know the badger, Eli the McCall, Baron the hen. By the way, you know, escape all this. And Algonquin the pony. Explain to everybody listening that you were in the White House before the blowjob. Okay, I, all right. Tell all right, the story. I, all right, okay, all right. So this is true. This is actually one hundred and ten percent true. There, I have photos, and I think not only you can back it up, my mom, baby hands. They, 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 there are pictures. I was in the Oval with Bill when he was getting his. Why? Oil. Why were you there? So I was one of five or six people chosen nationwide uh, for. This essay that was, what would you do if you were president? And basically the gist of mine was like a, the uh, eight- or nine-year-old version of, you know, I would, you know, stop the world's problems by making laughter. It was something hoka joke sure. like bagak. that. But, it, bagak, bagak, but, it's, bagak, but bagak. it's funny. Right. That's what I do right. for a living. Right. So 
two days before I go, they come the, like the Secret Service comes to the Boys and Girls Club. And it's outside of Philadelphia. And they come and they say, you have uh, 20 hours, 24 hours. You, you can't bring anyone. you got to come to the White House. You and, you know, we have this car coming to get you. So I threw on some clothes. I went to the White House. Right, with your, your mother. Your mother. When my mother wasn't allowed. She had to send her 8-year-old son or 7, I don't even know if I was that old, to the White House alone okay. with a stranger in a black car. So I get to the White House because it's not a far drive from Philly to D.C. No, I get it's about two yeah, hours, maybe two hours, two and a half. So I get to the White House. We sit down. We have dinner. I'm having dinner with Slick Willie. All <laughs> right, I got Slick Willie. I got Hill Dog. I got Chelsea. Was I Hill, got was mittens it, what, and I got socks at the fucking table. Pump the fucking brakes. Was Hill Dog there? Hill Dog was fucking at dinner. Okay, so here's here's Willie. Slick Willie. Was was Hill Dog sitting next? No, to no, 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 no. They no, were no, apart. No. They, of okay. course they were apart. Here's how it went. All right, if you follow this, Slick Willie at the top, three kids here, three kids here, Chelsea, Mama, and Hill where, Dog. Where was Blowjob Billy? Well, hold on, Blowy was at the head of the table. Nice. Hill Dog at the other head. Okay. We had mittens over here. We had socks over here. Okay. okay, we all had din din, mm -hmm. and then we what'd walked... What would you eat? Let me ask you about that. What you eat? It's a good question. We actually had the White House fried chicken from the cook that had been there for since, like, the Eisenhower administration. You didn't like it. You didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? Uh, right? Excuse me. I know, I fucking, I know it. Why didn't you like it? Wait a minute. I fucking loved it. Okay. What I didn't like was the lemon meringue pie at the end. Why? Because I don't like lemon meringue. Okay. Sucks. So, so they Sucks. Gave, so they gave you the chicken. What was the it was, side dish at the uh, White House? They had the most butteriest mashed potatoes and biscuits you've ever had. This was a true southern cooked meal. This is a Rizzo meal. That's this, what he loves. This, right. It was very, it was, you know, it was, it was one that everyone would All like. right, so you get done. Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans. This is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. Have you ever wondered about how you can help the homeless in our community? Go to PCHO.org and check us out. Make a small donation online at PCHO.org. PCHO, we want to be part of the change. All right, so, walk us through the process. So you get that. So everybody sits in. Let me finish. So everybody gets in. Okay. You do the meal, do right? The meal. Everybody comes in. There's Bill Clinton. We're you, upstairs in the residence. There's, you know, the, the one of the worst people that has ever been in politics, Hillary Clinton. Everybody is there. Everyone's You're there. there. I'm there. The woman that gave him a fucking blowjob is there at that time. Well, she is. She's downstairs in the executive suite okay. offices. We, we're upstairs in the residences okay. at this point when right. I'm at the White House. So we get done. You eat the dinner. I eat the dinner. You, you finish. You're a young kid. Mm -hmm. You know. You they know. show. They give us a tour. Hillary gives us a tour of the upstairs, and the president and the Secret Service so walk Hillary us down the steps. The tour. She gives us the tour of the residences. Okay. Then they walk us down the steps. They go down two flights so of steps. So what do those steps look like? So they kind of are like they're not spiral, but they're spiraled, and you go down two levels, and then you are at where the Lincoln Room is. It's this green room. Okay, and what is on the wall as you Pictures get Pictures of room? Abraham Lincoln, different artifacts from his presidency, shit like that. Priceless shit. You know, like original constitutions. Yeah, it's, it's like pretty priceless. Priceless shit. That's like a Jane moment. That, that, you understand that's right? a moment that nobody else will ever live, that you live that. It, it, was, it was so crazy because it's, it was like not only did we do that. Then we walk through the Lincoln Room, and the Kennedy a, and Room. And you're just a teenage boy. No, I was eight. I wasn't teenager. Oh, okay. This was uh, 1990. He was getting blowjobs. Right. This was like uh, 90, like six or seven. Sorry, I was a teenage boy. You then, were right? a teenager. Oh, I was a child, yeah. and so Kurt I walked, Cobain was alive Kurt, at that time. Oh yeah, but, and Courtney right. Love barely, but still. I was going to see Biggie. I so, guess. Right. so we're we're walking through all these rooms. We get to the Oval. Little did I know that behind door number one. Now see, there's a little door that you push on that brings you to the private presidential like. Relax library. office, library. library. Okay. We go into the Oval. We sit at the fucking desk. Everything goes crazy. Like, we all get our thing. Bam. Slick Willie gives us M&Ms, hangs out, you know, goes yeah, outside, smokes a cigar. We're good. Yeah, I said, you like them? 
You feel his vibe? I'm going to tell you something. I I, I I liked him, but I knew something. That I knew something oh, was Oh, you wrong. didn't know. At eight years old, you didn't know that he was I, getting. I knew that something. That he was throating. I, kn- I knew something. <laughs> His secretary. I, I knew something was up. I, I, I knew, you know, his throating let, let, secretary. Let me tell you what I knew. I knew that there was tension at that dinner table. I knew that Slick Willie was I up to no good. I that knew that it. I felt it. I was that there. You just didn't like that the chicken wasn't cooked good enough. You know, you, you ate the chicken. I ate it. And at eight, you knew because you love chicken cooked through. You didn't like it there. You, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's let's do this. I, I do want to shout out because that is a crazy story. I want to talk about uh, this this thing, this Brother Wee's thing that we did because a lot of people have some questions about it. Sure. Uh, I want to thank our friends at PCHO, and then I kind of want to hopefully get to a show that I think you might be interested in. Uh, you like the olds. You're a fan of the olds, right? Well, here's the thing. The office is coming back. That's something that's exciting to me. And if you think that you're going to bring up that scumbag, then we got a problem. Well, we're about to find out. Make sure to follow PCHO on all socials. You can also subscribe to our newsletter and check out our Facebook by clicking on the link inside of the video or underneath this podcast. Now, back to the show. So, uh, and again, PCHO, you can click the link through the video. You can make a donation or you can go to PCHO.org. It's also on uh, the iHeartRadio or anywhere you get your podcast. You can just click the link. Shout out to Nick and uh, everyone there doing some great work, helping our friend Amazing Daddy Jeff. Amazing work. And that, you and, know what? And I can't wait to, as we get into the, the colder months, to really work with them close and to help people out. So I'm excited. Yeah, that, that is going to be a lot of fun. Now, I will say this, and I just want to, to you know, uh, navigate this. Uh, we had Brother Wee's on. We did. And uh, I was excited that he did come on. We are working on getting some of the other big-name talent in town on this. Uh, I'm working on Bobby Lons. I got to tell you, don't think Lonsbury is going to answer and or take my call. He will. He I will. don't think he will. He will. Don't I, be a quitter. Don't be a quitter. Uh, you know, I, and I'll tell you what, of all people I, that I think that we need to have on, and I love Brother Weiss, right? I love Brother Weiss, too. I, you know, he is a, a legend and uh, – Radio he, Hall of he, Famer, he, man. He means a lot. Uh, I think Bob Lonsbury is hot. He's rocking. In the city right now. His Twitter, if you follow it, by the way, he's on top of it constantly. Okay, but let me – can I just – I don't know if he'll come on. He likes to play, but I – let me tell you something. Is it just me? I notice he gets very snippy towards B-Dub, Brother Weeze. I I notice there's tension. It feels like they – it feels like they used to fuck, and now they, they like, can't stand – you know what I mean? You know that kind of tension I'm talking about? What if I throw this idea, and I've been holding on to this. I'm going to kick this out there, too. Okay. What if we set up outside? Okay. And do a line. Do with a- Bob Lons. So he gets done at about 2, right? No, he's got to do that show from, Syrac- from Syracuse. He okay. He gets done at like 8. No, he is, it, is he that? I swear to God, he goes, he, for those of you who don't know, I kid you not, not only did he not get a raise, he goes from 8 to 12. 12 to 2, he has uh, all for an we, hour. Then, we gotta, and, then he's got to come in on a Saturday and do a show with us. Then. But I, he does, Dude, how can so He works that whole day. I swear to you, he gets one hour off and he got no raise. I kid you not. And by the way, you're doing two political Pete shows. So you know what? we got to make uh, it a Saturday then. So it's got to be a Saturday. So, one But then. where is he going to – you know what I mean? And, and I know that they – Mikey been, Champion, you tell me. Do we do a Saturday, a Saturday lawns? I I don't I don't know. I I, I don't know. I maybe maybe. I I just here's my thing. I've heard and seen a different side of him. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I'm I'm a little nervous because and I'm going to tell you the truth. Hey Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. You don't know me, but I know you, and you are the most committed fans to the greatest community I know, Rochester. PCHO, or Person-Centered Housing Options, based in Monroe County, provides outreach, housing, and care management services to the greater Rochester area. 
We are excited to partner with Rezo and Jeff to help spread the word about what we do. From intensive outreach to providing our homeless with access to life-changing services, we are a nonprofit organization that is committed to helping Rochester. And we are supported by small donations from people like you. So go to the Rizzo and Jeff Facebook page for a link or head over to our website at PCHO.org. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show brought to you by person-centered housing options and online at PCHO.org. I feel like he has a, a platform to be silly. You know why I like him? Because he's going to tell us the truth. And that's why I'm a big fan of him. And you oh, know Weiss what? told the truth. Yeah, and you know what? Take the politics aside. And yeah. I, I, I love Weiss. Love, love, love Weiss. Okay. Because he tells the truth. And he just says, you know what? I'm 76. Fuck it. I agree. Here's, Fuck here's it. the deal. I Heart hit me up. They said, I'm done in 15 months, and we're going to ride out. The last year. Well, he we said that they were going to. If you missed it, you got to check it out and the, download the podcast. But he said something to the effect of they're going to start at least that's what they, quote, told him well, in December doing like a career retrospective, which I think is the right way well, to go. I just don't know if they're going to do it for a year. Well, I mean, how Rizzo, do you do that? Here's, a, here's the deal. Rizzo. If the sales team is smart enough, and I'm talking about that old man that uh, oh, that God. is losing in fantasy. Oh, man. If they're smart enough, well, the, they will sell that as a fucking parade. I agree, but again, you know. But we're you're asking all, people to, right. you know, that are. We got know, one guy who got himself, he thinks he's a big radio star again, so he's I probably know. not selling much, you know. You know, so big, I. 15 buck boy. Big, I got it. Please. Got you. You pray for 15. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Uh, no, listen, I think he's got a great laugh, too. Um, I, I wanted to ask you because I, um, you know, we don't often get to talk about just kind of have open forum discussions, um, old people sex. Just if I say old people sex, what, what, what is your initial reaction? Why are you asking me that? I, I, I'm asking you because I want to know your honest opinion. Okay. Can I tell you honestly? I want you to know. I want to know. If we had a show, yep. I would tell you. I've been talking to my mother. Okay. You know, my dad passed away three years ago. He did? It's crazy. It's been that long, but yes, he did. My mom is 70. Okay. I feel like she's vibrant. Oh. And I feel like she, okay. she needs sex. And I've talked to her a little bit about going on to Christian Mingle. Oh, no. And how I would set her up. Right. Let me go to Christian Mingle while we're there. Hold on. My, mom, right. All right. my, mom, my mom, let me tell you, she has more energy than me and you combined. So you're saying that you your mom needs like to get to get to get some? Thicker. Here's the thing. I, I Christian Mingle to let me. Let me be careful. My yeah, no, I, 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 you, yeah. Okay, so, so you're just saying you're trying to set her up. You I'm think, trying to set trying her, to set her up. up and you, know, and my mom, you know my mom, and you know before, here's the deal. So, you know, my dad was a, a big real estate guy. He had a bunch of properties. So my mom operates properties. She's 70. She's rocking and rolling. She feels good about herself. I mean. I, okay, so here we go. I don't, how do I, I cross that path? To help her. This is what you do. You either I see first Ashley Madison is a is like your mom is in the same boat. I get it, but I'm not gonna. She's not as old as my mom. No, but, but I, I agree. I think you know she needs she needs she to, would love to. to I, get, I would love if she went she needs on to get a back door. To I, you know, let's not talk about mom's back doors here. <laughs> let's be nice, but uh, let's do this. Let's say that we sign her up for something. Let's say we go to SilverSingles.com. Oh, my God. Now, I'm looking at silver – because I'm looking at, at, at dating sites for men and women over 50 years old. Match, no. Zeus, no. Okay, now, you, Cupid, what no. What you have to understand is that I have two sisters, and they are uncomfortable about this. I am not. You have to take, I the, would you love, have to take the lead. You have to I would, take the lead. Lo I would yeah. love to put my mom yeah. into a dating situation. Yeah. And bring it on the radio. Now, I want you to see Silver Singles. Look at the picture here. Don't these two look both mature but also very sexually satisfied? He looks like he, he popped his Cialis. She looks like she's ready for it at any given time. All right? I, there it is. We have Blue Chew. We got tons of blue. We got Blue Chew. Just, just let us know. We got Blue Chew all over the table here. Let's this see. Be, this is going to be the first. Let's thing. see. I am a woman. You know 
seeking a man. Let's see what happens. Uh, see, you got to sign up. You can't even yeah, just uh, do. Uh, I, 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 I got it. I, I'll do. You know, I have a. I have a. You know. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's let's sure. see. All right. sure, go ahead. Go ahead with the Yahoo. All right. Yeah, Yahoo, I'll do, I'll, Yahoo to puppy. I'll do with the, the Yahoo with the, with the, with the yeah. floodgate uh, situation. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's see. We're signing up uh, SilverSingles.com, uh, and again, um, I appreciate uh, all of the. Uh, and by the way, here we go. Nice to meet you. All right. So save we're, it. We're, Actually, save it. All right. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. So I said I'm a woman looking for a man. All right. Hang on. Confirm your gender. Female. Okay. Confirm the gender of your desired partner. Okay, male. Okay, what is your marital status? I am a widow. Let's see if this gives us. Oh, uh, uh, does your mom? What does uh, she got? She, she got a college, uh, high school. What was the, well, what was the deal uh, back then? She has a master's degree. No so, shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, how important is intelligence? I would think your mom would want somebody smart. I think right. she wants a balance. All right. So let's say considerably, considerably important. Okay. How tall? Five. She she might be five foot one. Soaking wet. Five one. All right. All right. Uh, how important is that your part? Or she, guy's got to be taller. Yeah. No, my dad. I'm taller than my dad. Uh, what I'm that, saying right? is a guy five. She can't right. date a guy that's five okay. foot tall. Right. So, so that's it. what picture do you most associate with? Uh, you know, I, I'm. Is she a clean? She a you know kind of an. Let's go. She active. has no idea what what, what any of this means. Yeah. All right. Which pictures of people? We're, by the way, if you're just uh, tuning in, we. Uh, we're thinking about how we hook – oh, my God. Now we get to this. Yeah, we're getting to we're the – We're going to go right to the top. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh-huh. Do we uh, – you know what? I'm going to put I don't mind for that question. The uh, Do you have preferences in that? I'm going to put I don't mind. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just – let's go back. Uh, hold let's on. Just, let's hold go on. Back. We're, we're trying to fill we're out just some... gonna, We're going to, you know – Okay. Gonna make the right all product. right. All right. All right. Okay. All how, busy. how important? Uh, extremely. All right. Uh, how satisfied with you your appearance? Let's say mostly every woman is a little. How is important to you? She's, she looks better than me. Oh, I, uh, she I looks like, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how Seven. important is it that he's a hot guy? Let's for her. I think. Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. Have you ever wondered about how you can help the homeless in our community? Go to pcho.org and check us out. Make a small donation online at pcho.org. PCHO. We want to be part of the change. Let's say a lot. Oh my God! This is getting really so into the weeds deep. here. Now we're getting into you know, what's spirituality the, what's and the shit. Following best describes your what? Your beliefs. This now we're getting into religion. This is this, okay. This, well, this we is, are. This she's, is a, getting, she's Catholic. She it's a Catholic. I, I right. get it, but this is this is too much. This you know, is why I, love, I don't. Yeah, we gotta, Would you see, be open to? Would she be open to no. maybe a Hindu? Would she be open to a Hindu? Would Would she be open to maybe a Hindu? Look, here's the deal. Okay, the I'm answer is no. Okay, I'm just uh, asking a question. All right, fine. Let's just nothing personal. Uh, let's just she's, keep. It. Yep. She just she's a Catholic. And All right, that's fine. So no Hindus for 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 Mom and Jeff. <laughs> uh, how important? Uh, let's Holy this is okay. You've made it this far. Let's keep going. We would like to get to know you. Got to continue on. All right. Uh, would you like your partner to be a husband or wife? A dreamy lover? Someone to partner she, with or a confidant? She told me nobody is getting any of her money, so she just wants a partner that she can travel with. A tra- a partner to adventure with. Adventure That's with. perfect. It, where would she go on a first date? Wine, concert, skydiving, or popcorn at the movies? Uh, probably none of the four, but if I had to uh... – you know what? Let's throw her for a loop and go concert. No, she wouldn't. Do you don't think she would go concert? Uh, Neil Diamond? Go, I, she'd probably movie. Okay, she'd movie. No, All right, if you're just tuning problem. in, we, we've had a lot we're discussing. Uh, this is where we're at. We talked about Joe Biden's we're, dog. We're okay? hooking my mom up currently. We're trying to I'm hook his mom me. up on, wait, silversingles.com. Okay, we have a lot of a lot of people. I'm going to answer some of the questions that were sent to me in a couple minutes about the the Weeds interview. This is interview. so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, now you got to answer like you're your mom. So we'll answer uh. those Weeds questions in a minute. You're on a first date. What do you notice most? Conversation, respect, punctual, spontaneous, or calm? Respect. Okay. There we go. Because if not. I'll wa- I'll walk in and okay. Well, I'll here's the, the thing. Old man How likely are you to initiate the first kiss? 
as my mom. Yeah, you have to ask. That uh, we're doing. She, she would not do that. She would not. She okay, would not. so I would probably wait. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you're making weekend plans. You want to go to a restaurant? You want to go to an event, an activity, or a surprise trip? She would probably enjoy the restaurant. Okay. The restaurant. Right. Quality so. time at their favorite restaurant. If your partner suggests a shared uh, calendar to align both of your activities, how would, this is getting real fucking like, like this is, you know what I feel like? I feel like I'm eating googly ammo sauce. Yeah. I feel well, like I, you know what I mean? Well, nobody's like, eating that shit. All right. So I, let's I, just move on. I, I feel like I'm. By the way, I, I tried to make something with that the other day. Did you? Yuck. I, I Listen. Yuck. I, listen. Just yuck. It's, it's, so. okay. So if your partner suggests a shared calendar to a line, how would you feel? What the fuck kind of question is this shit? She's 70. All right, I'm just going to put them open to try it. things. Yeah. Right. Uh, if you have an argument, what is the reconciliation? You don't have a lot of time left. If you argued with her, mm-hmm. it'd be over. That wouldn't be doing it. She would call me and say he argued with me, and I'd say, "I'm going to, I'm going to fly into Philly." But you and have gonna, to I'm answer as her. You have to. We're on SilverSingles.com. Right. You need to. Okay. So would she want? To compromise? Would she want to? No. To, okay. She nope. would not compromise. I okay. Know. Do you know me? Okay. All right. If your partner's going to introduce you to their friends at a birthday party, what are you thinking? Now, remember, this is your mom. She's excited. She's nervous. She wants to meet them in a smaller setting. Her birthday party is nice. Um, just, you know. Okay. I would say okay. This is see now here now we're getting in the sex appeal. Do you, do you I, I see? Do you listen to me? This is why. You, let me ask. Do you see why baby Anne's is the best gift to you in your life? I agree. This sucks. This is this, what it, this, this is what your life becomes. This sucks because you have to. You're going to have to go through this. this. I'm not going through this ever again. I'm not going through this. You see why I stopped this? Here? This is this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, th- th- we're talking about experimentation, sexual chemistry, conflict. Res- I, this is too much. This is too much. You 70, know 70, 70 sex is tough sex. Well, 70 sex silver is sex. T- silver, silver sex. sex. And yeah. here's the thing. I heard Wee's talking about sex today on the – again, I'm like, this guy – But you, you know what? He's do you really lady. think he's having sex, though? Do you no. really believe that no. he's having sex? No, I don't believe that. I don't either, and that's not a knock. I just think that there's an age where sex just is impossible. Well, got, Your I, penis yeah. does not work at a certain age. It yeah. is impossible. Well, I, you know, with, within the podcast that we did with him, I, I felt that he was getting a little irritated with us. Uh, and I, that's not that he was just being rude. I thought, you know, he was tired. When you say irritated, what do you mean? I'll t- I'll t- I, mean I mean he was tired and he just wanted to go the fuck to bed. That's what happens when you get old. All right, I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will answer uh, the questions and give our thoughts about that that Wee's, uh interview because uh, I got a couple from not only our Patreon but uh, a couple people uh, sent in uh, some stars. So I will answer those. I'll and then we'll what finish I, I'll tell up. You what I, I'll tell you what I honestly think. Well, so if you want to answer those questions. So, 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 so hang on. Hey Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. If you've ever wondered about how you can help the homeless in our community, go to pcho.org and check us out. Make a small donation online at pcho.org. PCHO, we want to be part of the change. And again, uh, we want to thank our friends at PCHO. Uh, you know, they pcho.org, it's really simple, or pcho.org slash support. Make sure that you're, uh, you know, um, you know, supporting a great organization, keep that money here locally. An amazing organization. organization. Working with Daddy Not Jeff. Just great. Don't know where they're at yet, so I don't want to update you with stuff that I don't know other than I know that they've contacted. So we'll let you guys know kind of what's going on. Now, as far as this Wee's interview is concerned and some of the shit that came in, okay, people asked us uh, what was, and I'll let you answer first, what was our true initial feelings about how the interview went. Uh, I think me and you talked about this, uh, you know, as we went and got little Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Uh, I felt that the interview was um, kind of enlightening in a sense. Me too. Okay. I felt that we, okay. you know, we kind of got some answers questions i felt that within the interview i i I think that he was getting slightly irritated with who with you 
Uh, you know, is it just going, was he or was it because he couldn't hear? Uh, no. Okay. Going, right. Just going in, and I and I okay. think that, but, and it's great, and I love it, and I love it, man. And I want you to live all of your emotions and put them on your shoulder, and just blast them out there. I think it's great. Well, but he, I don't think that he had too many answers, too many questions, but he had one answer to one question. It's when are you done? And and, and he said it. Yeah, not only did he say it, I was stunned that he did. Um, I'll say this. Um, I, I was flabbergasted, and I I encourage you to download the podcast, check it out. I will tell you this. It's somewhere around the 24 to 25-minute mark, but you got to listen. I won't tell you exactly where unless you're a Patreon subscriber, then you already know. But it has been exactly six months. To the day that we were let go, uh, budget cut. I, I was using the word fired for a long time, but we were not fired. We didn't do anything wrong. And I've been thinking about that Brother Weeze interview, and I've been thinking about the six-month thing. And I got to be honest with you, having him on, it made me feel like that he initially thought, because he said, I can't do anything for you, bro. I, I don't know if he thought that we wanted him to do anything. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, he brought up some people like Kevin Legrette and stuff. I, he was like, I can't do anything for you, bro. I, I, I was getting the vibe that he thought we wanted him to do something for us. Yeah, which was absolutely which not, the, not case. the case. That was totally not the case. Totally not the case. Um, and maybe you kind of put him in that position, and you have to own that. And you might have done that. You put him in that position. but, it, but I wanted him to answer a goddamn question. I know, but he's not the guy that's going to answer you the question. So I don't think that he was going to do it. You're talking to a man who is in the fucking Radio Hall of Fame. Right. The place that you want to be. Right. I think that'd be the perfect right. guy to so answer the got, question. So at 76, I would sit here and just go, guys, you know. I, I'm just I, – I just – I can't give you all those answers. I'm on the final leg. Right, and he announced his retirement and the plan right, and when he's, he's done but, and yeah, all that but think, shit. But think about it. But he cared about you so much, and he thought about you so much. I agree. And he even said in, in one point, he goes, some of those other guys that are doing podcasts, and you know who he meant. I know. And he said, but I'm doing yours. Right. And I'm telling you how much I believe in you guys. I guess it's just that it's been – we hit that six-month mark, and um, for me, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting – are you getting that oh, shit point? Like, are you at that oh, shit moment? Like, because we had Weeze on. We're going to – we're working at Bob Lonsbury. We're doing our show. It's – it's you know, we get hundreds and hundreds of downloads. We get sure. thousands of views. So yeah. we're making money off of our podcast. Yeah, yeah I'm all shitting a little bit. But are you a little fucking I'm, worried? I'm all shitting a little bit. And that's why I texted you this morning. I said, how did we miss this moment? How did we not think about the terror tour? Right? That's why I texted you this morning. I said that's a lot of money miss that we, well, we're on thinking about we and I think, plan about. Well, and knowing you know that we have a loyal following of people, I mean, even if we had five or ten people show up, I, I think we could definitely do that. I mean, Verholst, although here's a thing. Well, I guess we don't have to – I don't care. We can go and do it because we're not getting paid or anything, right, by anybody. Like, we can do whatever, whatever the fuck the we want. fuck we want at any time. That's cool. Oh, okay. Well, then, and that, okay, because to be honest with you, I think the terror tour is a good idea, but looking back at six months, how quick that fucking went. And I'm, Which is okay. It's that's okay, okay, but in that same amount of quickness, bro, that's going to be another six months. And guess what, man? You know, again, yes, uh, uh, PCHO, the Pisas, Zweigels, uh, you know, we're going to be doing something with Zweigels soon. Okay, yep. shit like that. Yeah, Zweigels is locked in with us. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. Wild. We got, you know, the, the hopefully maybe Mikey and his wrestling. Uh, hopefully hopefully Salvatore. I mean, I you know, that's fine. You're going to have to wrestle one time. You just know I, it's going to be the business. Here's the thing. I don't have to wrestle. I will be more than happy to speak. To, to, you know, so, talk about you're gonna, it. You're going to have to steroid me up a little bit here, and then we're going to have to get to business. I See, I look, I don't know. I 
I, I think that there's a way that we could, and this is, and listen, I'll be honest with you. I said, you know, I, I said to my doctor today, my doctor's like, how you feeling? How you doing? I'm like, I'll be honest with you. I'm really, like, I'm fucked up I know today. you are. I know I'm you fucked are. fucked up today. I can tell. Honest truth. I, I'm about fucked it. up today. I can tell that you you I, seem down. You've seen down. Because this has been a hard, like, that That was a hard week, man. You remember. Yeah. Sure. And, sure. And, and, and again, not, not to not to relitigate it, but the, don't you feel like fuck? Six months came that quick. You know what? And I told you this probably maybe months ago. And I, I said, thought I would have thought you'd have been back by now. I don't know what I, you fine. know. But I said to you, I said, I, if nobody wants me, I don't want them back. I okay, fine. And then if I got to go through the trials and tribulations to get to a point where, you know, I'm kind of in control of my own thing, I w- that's something that I would like. But I don't I don't care about those people that didn't want me. You, you get it? Yeah, I, I do. I do. But And that's where we but, bat- that's where we guys this is the honest truth. That's where we you know battle battle a little bit. Where you take that firing completely personal. I do. And I do I, take it and, personal. And yeah, I, I do. And it breaks your heart. It does. Yeah, it I, does. And I don't. Yeah, well, I, I don't take, know how you I, can. I don't I know how it, you I don't. Take, I take it as a blessing, you know, because mm. I don't want somebody that doesn't want me. Well, so I'll, t- I, I'll tell you what. You know what? I, it, it, it shows what we brought to see that it's been – Changed three times, and then when music, no music, then music, then they're you know switching all these people around. So that is a direct correlation of us not being there. But at the same time, dude, it doesn't it doesn't it freak you out that like we have you know sure. we have to take care of ourselves, sure. we have to take care of people, sure we have to scared. we have to you get exactly. scared, man. Sure, you get. Scared. And maybe it's the first time that I've really given a fuck because I have somebody other than myself. Right. Right. Maybe that's the first time I care. Yeah, but but I gotta be real with you, man. It's it's a scary proposition. I, I'm not gonna lie. See, so this should be a lesson learned, right, for you. Yeah, knowing that we have something, and you know the something mm-hmm. that is it's close. It's, it's good. It, yeah. It's just a matter of a balance of finances and different things. When we pull it all together, uh, let it be a lesson learned that you know. You gotta watch the bucks. You gotta do certain things. And, oh, I, you know it's tough. It's tough when you have somebody else. Oh yeah. Hey Rizzo and Jeff fans, this is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. If you ever wondered about how you can help the homeless in our community, go to pcho.org and check us out. Make a small donation online at pcho.org. PCHO, we want to be part of the change. Your whole mindset change. Well, and here's the thing. I'll be honest with you. Uh, quitting, uh, quitting smoking was probably one of the smartest decisions I've ever made. Talk about fucking money. Talk about living. All right. Talk about. I mean, with and some, not dying down the road. Well, that's important too. But to be honest with you, I quit. I mean, that saves me. I was at a, at least a package. How do you feel about that's, that? Quitting smoking. I'll be honest with you. I am not a hundred percent there. And what I mean is, I'll have a cigarette. I can't give up that morning cigarette on the way to get a coffee. I have been able to use an aromatic diffuser, but I still need something to to to, to puff on because, I, dude, it's it's a lot of shit, man. I mean, I've been smoking since middle school, sixth grade. Like a dildo or something that you could just pump on. I don't know if I need a dildo. I you know I'm not an expert in dildonics, but 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 physically, do you feel better without it? I I, yes uh, yes uh, I have. I lost fifty pounds since me. I've lost some weight since being here. I think it was thirty six, not fifty. But yes, thank you. I got fatter. He got. Well, and and you know what? It's funny because I know that, and I don't know if you want to say it for Saturday, but you 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 feel that you were shamed uh, by a friend. Did you not? Like, you, you felt shamed by a, a friend. And were we going to try to have him on this weekend to try to kind of call him out on this? Or what's the situation with that? On Saturday, one of my good friends. Okay. I mean, we're going back. Yeah, for sure. One of my great friends. Yep. 20 years. Okay. Fat shaming. 
And it's not been easy for either of us, right? No. And this, okay. And I, and you know, and he's one of my good friends, and I really care about him. Nice guy. I've done a lot for him. But he fat shamed me. And he's gargantuan. And he's about 500 pounds. So coming up on Saturday on the show. Okay, okay. He's going to come on. Okay, okay. And I'm thinking instead of the phone call, we have to have him on. You mean physically you on the Jimmy camera? Carr. You know Jimmy Carr. Yeah. You know Jimmy Carr. Yeah. And he's been on. A lot of the, a lot of the listeners do, too. Right. And he's fat chained me, and uh, I want him to apologize for his fat shaming. Do you think he will? Do you, th- do you think he will apologize for the fat shame? Can't tell you. But I'm going to tell you, he's going to be on on Saturday. Uh, he has agreed. He has agreed. To come on on Saturday. To come on the show on Saturday. He's fat shaming. Okay, so let me answer. So you. I will sit, sit here. Sit. I'm going to sit here. Let me finish. I'm going to sit here in a tank top. Okay. A white tank top. I could tank top. And you're going to see the tits. Okay, well, tits. Tits you're, out. You're going to see Tits out. You're going to see it Tits out, right? Okay. So, Jimmy Croft, you're coming on. For Jimmy Croft. On okay. Saturday. Right. And you want a fat shame. You're going to come on, and we're going to have a conversation. So we're going to have a conversation. I'll tell you what. All right, and before before we, we, we wrap this up, because I do want to uh, – I want to save that, because I think that was – I didn't know if that was still it's happening. 110% legit he's coming on. Does he know that, that this is going to be kind of an interrogation? 110%. And, so he's aware. He's very aware of what's happening. Uh, let's see. Um did Jimmy, Jimmy, he had the, the Pisa comments. Uh, I could t- feel his drool from here. Yeah, because the Pisa is delicious, and he that's a place that he would go and get seven subs, which I suggest everyone well, does, but I'm well, just saying, Jimmy. Well, first off, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to the Pisa. We're going to go at noon, and I'm uh, buying... We go to yeah. yeah I'm not doing two or three anything. sandwiches tomorrow. I'm yeah, to yeah. You know what? And here's the thing: there's our Italian friend Rob, and Rob is the guy. He's my tester. He tells me if notifications the OJ. go out. The OJ. The OJ. He wow. tells me if notifications go out, and I notice that there are some days that notifications when the show goes on do not go out. And what happens is I start watch, seeing people watch it when the show wraps up, and it pisses me off. So I haven't seen our Italian stallion. Therefore, I now know that i got to go. I'll tell you, what do you say? We'll go there about a nooner. Do you want to pull a nooner? And I'll, bu- I'll buy a couple of uh, subs over there. Are you getting a hot sub or are you getting a cold sub? Come on, I'm going cold. You know that. You know you, you got you got to get hot stuff. I'm not a hot guy. <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what. I think that's a good idea. I and do. My want... friend Josh watching. You know, I eat everything with a fork and a knife. You know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I just want to thank, by the way, all the people that the, you know. We had so, you know a couple thousand people download that podcast with Weez, uh, uh, PCHO, who has been was was one of our first big supporters. Uh, you know, the pieces, uh, all this stuff's coming. So there's a lot of great shit coming from us. We're going to get Bobby Lons. I know we that, are going to get Bobby Lons. Don't, don't, be, don't be a quitter. Be a believer. I'm going to get you Bobby I'm, I, It's not that. It's that I know for a fact. Yeah, but see, that's the point. When when Daint and, he, and, if, and uh, when, when those very, people if, aren't there, the, the big, fucking thing doesn't go out. He's not going to big time us, Lons. He's coming on. We're going to talk about. I promise you, he's so politically correct. There's not a chance in shit you get anything from him, bro. It ain't happening. What do you want to bet? That Bob Lonsbury does not come on this show? Like that he declines? Come on. What do you want to bet? Let's just bet. How about your Jalen Hurts jersey? No. Oh, no, aren't you? No, I thought you no, were so no. positive. No, we're not I sure. thought you were so positive. Listen, listen. There are things that are gold. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think? What, All right. What I'll about t- a sandwich over there? All right. I, I we'll, do sam- b- we'll do a Sammy over there. I can get behind the Sammy. All right. I'll tell you what. Fair enough. What's the timeline? How how long is the timeline? Because I've already reached out to Bob. I'll tell you what. I'll have Lonsberry on Thursday. Next Thursday. Thursday. You want to bet? 
So, so you need till next Thursday to get a hold of Bobby Lons, is what you're saying? Well, I need till next Thursday to make sure that uh, you know we, me, and him figure out his schedule, and then we'll get things going. I, I tell, I tell you, and what's going on, Kim? Uh, as we're getting ready to wrap up here, so uh, I'm sorry that most of you, I don't know what's. Have you noticed that Facebook changed its logo, the way that you post things? Did you notice a couple of changes? Sure. Every time stupid Facebook does that, it does that shit with notification. Did you know that? Did you ever notice that? Did, like when when there's you know, a stupid ass change with Facebook, yeah, it does but, it. But things go better afterwards. No, I I, works out I, I know. Uh, I I don't know where Dane is, uh, but I do want to shout out and say thank. Hey Kim, Kim, do me a favor, okay? Uh, yes, okay, that's fine. Uh, Kim, do me a favor. It's either that or I'll leave it up to you. You can do that, or I have a montage for Jeff. Because I didn't get into what I – I started of talking about old people's sex, and we got distracted. Right. Um, I'm trying to get my mom banged. Kim, no. no. Kim, did you get a notification that we were on, and if so, when? Uh, but Nick from our PCHO, I just want to say a great uh, organization. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to visit, whether it's Daddy Jeff or somebody who has been in some of their housing. Yeah, we got to make nice that work. Nice housing. Yeah, we got to make that work. Uh, absolutely, Kim. The answer is not okay. I'm sorry. Is did you get a notification, and if so, when? Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans. This is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. Do you want to give back? Do you want to change people's lives? Do you want to make it possible for a homeless person in your community to have housing? Go to pcho.org. Check us out. Join our cause. Donate and help out the homeless in your community. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show brought to you by PCHO online at PCHO.org. I know Kim. I know uh, Joanne. I know um, a few people have, have donated, and it's been a real big uh, help, and we thank is, you. So is the is the game Lonsberry? Is that Who can get a hold of Bob Lonsberry? Because here's the thing. I would call him live, but I know that. He is a, you know what he is? He's Mr. Like, uh, he's like Phil at that station where he's like Mr. I'm hardworking. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got it. Okay. So Caroline did. Kim had just got it. So I, it is I'll what it is. I'll tell you what. Do you want, you think I can't pull Lonsberry? Are you I know, I know your, you can. Are you out of your I know, I, I know you can. Friggin' mine. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it up to you. I have original comedy to end the show. Original comedy. Or I have Knickerbocker. Original comedy. Okay, so original comedy, we're going to go with something that, uh, you know, I think is fun because it reminds me of the Golden Girls. Uh, you've heard that show, The Golden Bachelor, right, on ABC. Have you heard about that? Well, I'm not sure. You're weird. You don't watch much TV these days, but I do. I know everything about what's happening there. And i got to tell you, I'm quite invested in The Golden Bachelor. Um, I see that man, and I think that he is a stud. You think Gary Turner is a stud? And the ladies love him. Gary Turner is 72 years young. Okay, I'll he, never make it there. He has... And uh, will you. <laughs> no. Uh, he's dating women between the ages of 60 to 75. Nice. Uh, ABC says proving that it's never too late for love. I bet you this will be the highest rated bachelor that they've had. You think so? One hundred and ten percent. The gold. Does anyone really want on it? The golden bachelor. Does anyone want? That's why I asked you about old people, senior sex, and and you immediately were like, "Ah," and I don't blame you. Gary Turner is a great looking guy. He's seventy two. Yeah, I think he's a he's a look at him. What a stud! I know. (laughs) For who is this guy? So he's he's just what he's just Gary Turner. What do we he's know about just Gary? fucking Gary Turner? He's who, okay. what do we know about Gary? He, his matter. wife passed. Yeah, wife he likes he likes his wife didn't make it. He's like he likes late night kisses. Okay, well that's fine. I, I, I'll tell you what, Gary. I like a late night kiss. I don't mind it. I don't okay. mind it. Give me a little Turner. All right. So anyway, we have a song parody in our original comedy because I heard today that uh, somebody was getting accolades for writing for the best prep service in the game. And um, got to tell you, it's not that mm. good. Mm. Uh, that's why we make fun of it. But mm. um, there's a song parody called The Golden Bachelor. Okay? And here is a song parody with the Golden Girls and the Golden 
Bachelor, you get it. DC. Hit play. On the Golden Bachelor, don't want to see you guzzling wine in a hot tub with a stranger. Mom, is that Nana? The world is going to see her on the show this fall. Yes, she's doing life a section and wearing a space bra. Golden girls on the Golden Bachelor. One of these days and it won't be long. I hope we don't see your butt in a tiny little thong. In the back of a limo trying not to squeal while your date's getting out his little blue pill. Golden oh, girls. On the Golden Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you on Saturday. Okay, all right, fine. Fuck it, all right, fine. Hey, Rizzo and Jeff fans. This is Nick, co-founder of PCHO. PCHO provides outreach, housing first, and care management services to the greater Rochester area. We are excited to partner with Rizzo and Jeff to help spread the word about what we do. From intensive outreach to providing our homeless with access to life-changing services, we are a nonprofit organization that is committed to helping Rochester, and we are supported by small donations from people like you. Go to Rizzo and Jeff Facebook page for a link or head over to our website at pcho.org. Now enjoy the Rizzo and Jeff show brought to you by PCHO online at pcho.org.